Hey little ones, we're Stan Sebastian and you are live in Limo.com. Alright, we're live in Limbo and we're here with uh, San Sebastian. Um, how are you doing, guys? Good, how are you, man? Right, good. Um, what I want to do is uh, get everyone to uh, just state your name and uh, what you play in the band, like what instrument. Hi, my name is Greg and I play bass in San Sebastian. I'm Mike and I sing in San Sebastian. I'm Brody, I play guitar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Sean, I play guitar. Uh, Ted, I don't play drums. Okay, cool. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna go with the name, I'm gonna ask you guys, uh, uh, why San Sebastian? Uh, how'd you come up with it, and why did you like it? Uh, yeah, well, we had the name, uh, we had a name before, and it, it, you know, it turned out there was another band in Canada that had that name, so we just felt like, you know, there was bands all over the world that had the name, it seemed to be a pretty common name, which we had no idea about, so we kind of had to go back to the drawing board and come up with names, and we had a ridiculous massive list of names and there was over oh, five months of fighting and five months of infighting oh, and man. craziness and basically uh we came down to uh San Se sean actually came up with san sebastian sean well, yes what was our okay, you want to take this sure uh that name had been on the kind of like a list that i've been running since the last four bands i guess have been in and never made it with those guys these guys liked it a lot so uh, it's a city in spain it's like uh right near the french border so right. kind of place you want to retire to yeah, ultimately we felt like if things went really well with uh, with our little band here, that one day maybe the five of us could retire to San Sebastian and play guitars on the beach. That sounds cool. I wanted to do their show now. Yeah. <laughs> so. You guys started out obviously as the pumps or pumps. Yeah. And uh, how long have you guys been playing together? Ooh, oh, come, coming up on two years. Uh, yeah, two coming years. Up, just about two years. I, mean, I think our first show ever was yeah. two years ago in June. Where was that? In Hamilton at Club Absinthe. Okay. Our home away from home. Yeah. Love you. <laughs> All right. So um, I've been listening to some of your songs, and uh, honest opinion. Yeah. No. It's good. Great. Thanks. And um, one of the ones that stuck out to me was uh, Young Youth, and uh, instantly got like a bit of like a Strokes vibe. Would you say they're one of the, your influences? Though? Definitely on the guitar side. There's a lot of like Strokes based influence. Like we're more like driving rhythms. It's always driving guitars. Like we don't really take a lot of breaks when we play. Cool. So, uh, That's how we stay in shape. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is, there, is there any other bands that you would list that, that you have as influence? Maybe influence that? Well, it, it's funny. Actually, it kind of breaks down like party lines of the band. Like Sean and Sean and Brody are really uh, huge Strokes fans, and, and you know that that sort of influenced their guitar playing. Like Ted's a big U2 fan. I'm like Beatles all the way, and then I've been yeah like Weezer always all this to go. So all my bass lines basically match up. <laughs> Yeah, no, all, all my bass. All my melodies are just. My bass, yeah. Basically, it's a big amalgamation of sort of all these bands. So, like, when you hear something like Strokes, it's cool because right. it is like the guitar playing that's yeah, yeah. coming through. Definitely. You, know, you guys were featured on this band, and um, it's, it seems like your biggest break so far. So, uh, did you. How do you feel about the entire experience, and did you have any reservations about going on a uh, type of reality type um, of show? Yeah, we, we definitely had reservations to go on a reality show. It would, you know, everyone saw what came out of the first season and everything and how that sh shook out. So uh, we had a, little, a few reservations, and then, uh, but we decided to do it because it was like, why not? We threw caution to win. We, we really realized that all the, all the good that could come out of it was well worth the risk. And it ended up being such an amazing experience, and everyone we worked with was incredible, and everyone at Much Music has been so great to us. And it, was, it honestly turned out to be the, a really good decision, one of the, one of the better decisions we've ever yeah, we really chose to play like play ourselves. It was, there was nothing like really fake about it. It was all always we're just being genuinely ourselves all the time, like trying to make friends or yeah. like always trying to like let's go have a drink together after and stuff like that. Like, yeah, they're great at really capturing like who we really are. They they did such a great yeah. job at showing like there's nothing in there that I'm ashamed of or anything. That's it's cool. Great. Yeah, it was really good. Um, uh, so you you guys are with uh, Universal and uh, starting your new album. I guess can you tell me a little bit about that and when you think it'll be released? Yeah, we've been recording it. We've been uh, recording it over the last sort of couple months, uh, different studios, and basically getting it all together. Um, should be out in August, but I mean, we're really excited. It's like it's one of those. It's it's an album that we're all really proud of. I mean, you know, it's going to be ten songs, and we're just you know, it's going to be you know, the three that we put three up on uh, MySpace yeah, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. We recorded the other seven. It's just it's a cool rock record. Like we really sort of we're proud of what we've done, and we we're excited to see what people think of it. Now that we've sort of had this interesting break and opportunity with everything that happened with this band and the video being played, all that stuff, and uh, 
you know, we want to see how people sort of uh, respond to the rest of the album. But recording it's been an amazing experience, and Greg Norrie's producing it, and he's like, at this point, he's just like a buddy. He's like the sixth, sixth member of the gang. You know? yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I, I asked you this before, or you mentioned it before, but uh, do you guys play any covers, and what would be your favorite type of thing? Well, Randall, tonight we're... <laughs> <laughs> we do we one cover. One, yeah. Yeah. We do one cover, yeah. We're like this weird sort of... Uh, bastardized version of uh, Pump It Up by Elvis Costello because oh, yeah. we, when we first started we are like ah let's throw in a cover that will make people dance we're really into Costello time like a lot of you might be able to hear Costello influences in our music too so yeah. at the time we were just like it was coincidence that it had her name in it and it was just like really we were pumped it was yeah, everything pumped yeah. it up. definitely yeah. a bit of everything so, so we threw yeah, together like a funny like minute and a half version of it yeah, that yeah. It just so you're playing that tonight? yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. awesome <laughs> <laughs> you can be like that was the song you're yeah we'll dedicate it to you all right, so how do you guys, uh, do you guys write collectively, or uh, what's your process? Can you tell me a little bit about that. Uh, it's kind of different for every song. Like, someone will come up with an idea, like a bass, might be a couple parts, might be an entire song. And then we just, the five of us get together and we just like shred it to make it sound like us. So like Michael come together with an acoustic, and he'll, he'll sing a melody, and he'll have some chords. And then Sean and I will like, kind of indie doubt or whatever like it is like make it like more sound like yeah, yeah, your guitar style, style. style. then Greg will do the, yeah. the walks a, a great thing. example actually is that Wake Up that's uh, oh, kind of right now our single is just like a song that just that like that rhythm dun, 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 just that those three chords whatever we had taken around for a bit then Brody wrote that his lead guitar part over it and then from there Mike wrote a melody over it and then we had that part and then Sean kind of wrote like a bridge part for it and we just all like kind of added our own parts to it that turned out great and then yeah that's yeah, the verse was like we had a verse riff for like two months before we did anything else. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, we had the we had the chorus. I had the chorus like that chorus melody kicking around and then it fit and it sort of came together and I think that sort of like you said sums up our songwriting. It's like <laughs> it's an idea and then you know someone will bring it to the rehearsal space and then the five of us sort of make it sound like someone put something action. on it. Like yeah, the good guitar part, the tempo, the weird drum part over it, and then it just like it makes it really cool stuff. At the end, yeah, it becomes, it becomes a San Sebastian. So I guess get our hands are short. Long answer short, it's collective. Everybody right. collectively. Yeah. Well, off, off the show, we've seen that uh, um, you know you guys, I guess, made this decision to move forward. Does anybody like quit their jobs? <laughs> yeah, right here. Teddy quit. Yeah, he quit. Yeah. What were you guys? Uh, what were you doing? Or what are you guys doing now? Uh, well, I, I was in. Yeah, I was, I was in school and I had to quit that because I was out of it like anyway. So I get excuse. Yeah. You hear that, kids? Yeah, yeah school gets you nowhere, kids. But. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, so I quit that, and I was like, I write jingles and like I produce like promos and stuff. So Mike does that. I work in a family and see the company. Um, I'm still doing some pretty good stuff. I manage a chain of cell phone stores. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I was working in insurance, quit that, uh, and now I'm uh, washing cars for a living. Yeah. <laughs> little known Sebastian. Little known Little known San Sebastian. In fact, Sean is Greg's boss. He's my boss's boss actually. <laughs> oh, um, we're going to uh, work your fans uh, get your music right now, and we'll be able to see something else, uh, but go ahead and you want to let them know. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can you can get Wake Up on iTunes. Yeah, the video too. Exactly. And the video. Yeah, the video, yeah, the video, yeah, yeah, video yeah. song. Um, and for that, like, we have a couple of songs that are MySpace, and yeah, the album's out in August, but for now, Wake Up is uh, Song of the Summer. Okay. <laughs>